When she was in fourth grade, a teacher offered to help Awa, who does not wish to use her real name, with her homework after school. Awa still recalls the day she went to her teacher's house in her native village of Dagan, 15 years ago. He was asking me questions and I was answering him, but after a while, he started putting his hands on my body. I pushed him away and ran home. For the rest of the school year, Awa lived in fear, as the teacher threatened to fail her for rejecting his advances. In October, Human Rights Watch reported that sexual exploitation of schoolgirls in Senegal is widespread. Most cases of abuse are settled at the community level, but culprits are rarely punished, says community leader Ibrahim Asen. In our country, going to the police can be difficult. You need to be someone. A nobody like me will struggle. Human Rights Watch has called on Dakar to ban sexual relations between teachers and students and to start sex education programs in schools. But Senegal's teachers' unions have responded by dismissing the report. It's a bit disrespectful because with a population of 90,000 teachers focusing on just three or four regions and about 100 students cannot be representative of Senegal. Meanwhile, Senegal's education ministry has rejected the idea of introducing sex education. We are already tackling sexual violence, but we must also consider our religious values and social cultural realities. This is why the government is not ready to integrate comprehensive sexual education in schools. Awa escaped her teacher's harassment 15 years ago by moving to the capital to continue her studies. But she was too ashamed to tell her parents why she suddenly left the village. They found out years later, after the teacher had moved away and could no longer be held accountable. Sophia Christensen for VOA News, Dakar.